There's a huge wave of money and momentum behind AI right now, but some experts worry that it's starting to look like a bubble. In late September, NVIDIA, the company that makes the chips powering most AI systems, announced plans to invest up to $100 billion in OpenAI. Days later, OpenAI struck a similar multi-billion dollar deal with AMD. Investors celebrated. But to others, it felt like deja vu, the late 90s all over again, when companies kept boosting each other's valuations without creating real value. The money is moving faster than adoption. Data centers are breaking ground, chips are selling out, and every company feels the pressure to do something in AI. For leaders, this creates a real dilemma. Move too slowly and risk falling behind, or move too fast and overinvest before the value is clear. We've seen this story before. During the dot-com era, billions poured into internet infrastructure that outpaced real demand. When adoption lagged, the market crashed. Not because the technology failed, but because timing did. Today's AI moment has the same tension. Consumer interest exploded. ChatGPT reached 100 million users faster than any prior app. But inside most companies, adoption is slower and more cautious. If investment keeps sprinting ahead of impact, the risk of overcapacity is real. So what can leaders do differently this time? First, connect AI spending directly to business outcomes. Where can this technology strengthen our core advantage? Efficiency, customer experience, innovation. If you can't answer that, pause before scaling. Second, build the foundations, strong data, clear governance, and teams that understand both AI's potential as well as its limits. Finally, stay engaged in policy and partnerships. The leaders shaping the guardrails now will help define the market later. The AI boom could mark the start of a new industrial era or another painful correction. The difference will come down to how disciplined we are in where and why we choose to invest.